If you were to ask me which platform to use to start selling your digital products online, I'm going to recommend three in this video. Unfortunately, because we all have different goals and objectives, there's no one size fits all. So therefore I'm recommending three and after watching this video, you can decide which one to best use in your case. Uh, each one has its own you know, pros and cons, so you can decide towards the end of this video. But let's get started and I'll share the first platform with you. All right, the first one is called Koji. This is more a link in bio kind of service, but what makes this type of link in bio service different uh, to others such as uh, Linktree, which is the most popular, is its App Store. If you view the App Store, you can integrate or more so install some of these to your own link in bio page, such as a tip jar, let's say a shout out, kind of like a cameo where you can uh, create these requests and then create these videos then get paid for it, of course. And uh, there are other things such as uh, videos that you can integrate and some of these monetization apps such as Funding My Project. And they're always coming up with more and more. Uh, if you're a digital product creator, you can sell eBooks and PDFs. So that way people can purchase your product and then get that ebook or PDF instantly. Here's what my Koji link in bio page looks like. I've got things like my links to my newsletter, as you can see right here. I've got a link to my YouTube channel, a ask me or kind of a video request where they can pay me $10 where they can ask any question about uh, digital products, building an email list and so on and so forth. Subscribers can also buy me a coffee by clicking this little tip jar button and then contributing any amount they want and send the tip. What they do next is simply pay by card. So Koji is a great option if you're not needing so much a website, but a link in bio where you're featuring multiple links, let's say to your different social media accounts and a way to collect payments for different things such as a tip jar, or a sale of your digital products. Moving on to platform number two, which is called Gumroad. With Gumroad, you can create different products. And as you can see, we've got digital products, course or tutorial, eBooks, newsletter, memberships, podcasts, audiobook, physical products. And it's as simple as going through the process, naming your product, entering a price, filling in the rest of the product details and adding an image. You can also add further details and the actual digital download. So this is the content that will be delivered. You can also create different versions such as a basic or pro version. And what your product sales page will look like is something like this demo right here. It's called Guide to Gumroad. You've got the image, description, and two options. You've got a Guide to Gumroad basic and one with templates. Different pricing, so you can bump up your order. And all customers need to do is click on the I want this button and then simply check out. You do have the option to export your customer database. You've got analytics too. Furthermore, Gumroad does integrate with Zapier, so you can integrate Gumroad with thousands of other platforms, tools, and apps such as MailChimp, Google Sheets, and much more. If you make between zero to $999, you're looking at a Gumroad fee of 9% for every sale you make, plus 30 cents on each transaction. However, the more sales you make, the less the fee becomes. Gumroad's pricing structure can be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're a beginner, this may be a better option because you don't need to make any commitments and pay that monthly fee of a product selling platform such as Kajabi, which is something like $99 up to $150 or so per month. So with that, with Gumroad, you start with $0. You don't need to pay any fees until you actually make those sales. With Gumroad, you can also create a store kind of like this, really basic, uh, where people can just browse through your store and purchase whatever products that are featured on there. Now, another thing I want to point out about Gumroad is its lack of marketing integration as a seller. As a seller, you want to bump up your offers, you want to be able to increase your profits and make as much from every customer that comes through the door. The only thing that Gumroad has its, its versions, right? You can create separate versions, but that's about where it stops. And that's where this next platform comes in. So platform number three is called Payhip. Payhip does work very similar to Gumroad, but they've got a dedicated section called marketing. And in here, you can go to cross-selling so you can promote your products to customers when they add an item to their cart. Example, buy one and get one half price. 
There's also a referral section where you can incentivize your customers to share your product and then they get a discount, for instance, let's say 25% off on their next purchase, something like that. So that's that extra little bit of marketing that is integrated inside Payhip. There's also a section called Upgrade where you can create upsells of your products. So clicking on Add Upgrade, if someone purchases, let's say, this mindfulness product, they then see this product, for instance, and get a discount for that. Furthermore, when you go and create a new product, you can choose between a digital product, physical product, course, coaching service, or subscription billing. If you click on course, you can add your course curriculum, including all the lessons. And when I go ahead and click on preview all course lessons, Payhip actually hosts your course on their website. So you can set the sections and the modules, as you can see on the left side, going through the course in this type of interactive way. Another thing you're going to like about Payhip is its fees. It's only 5% transaction fee plus any PayPal or Stripe fees. This may actually work out better for you if you're just starting out rather than the 9% that Gumroad charges. But if you ever do scale up in the future, you can always upgrade to the Plus plan, which they charge only $29 per month and only charging 2% fee, which is very little. Payhip does also integrate with Zapier, which is good news if you want to do more advanced things. In addition, Payhip features a store builder. So if you go to store, click on launch your store builder. You can feature the different sections you want, such as a header, you've got your collection of products, you've got about me. You can even add a new section and choose from one of the pre-built sections as you can see right here. You've got testimonials, a contact us, newsletter, FAQs, about me, and so much more. So all in all, if you're looking for the fastest and easiest way to start selling today within an hour or so, then look into Koji because all you really need to do is whip out your phone. It's actually mobile first and responsive. And that way you can integrate things such as your tip jar, request, and start selling your digital products that way. But if you're looking for more advanced features, then look into either Gumroad or Payhip. What's going to be the decider is those features that I mentioned, whether you want those extra marketing integrations, whether you're looking to lower the fees, you know, then Payhip is probably a better option for that. But otherwise, if you have any other questions about these platforms, feel free to let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, take care and I'll leave a couple of relevant videos for you to watch right here.